Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video from the Ingenious Engineer. Today, I'm going to be figuring out if shaking an hourglass makes the sand fall faster. Ever since we started playing board games like Pictionary, we've been wanting to make the sand in the hourglass fall faster to give ourselves the benefit. And what better way to do that than to shake the hourglass? Or not? Anyway, that's what I was wondering when I was playing Pictionary a few days ago. Was shaking and tapping the hourglass actually giving me a benefit, or was I just wasting my time? To find the answer, I decided to run a simple experiment. For this test, I used a one-minute hourglass and a timer. I found the time it takes for the sand to fall from top to bottom ten times and got an average from that. I then did the same thing, except while shaking and tapping the hourglass in different ways. Before we go on, share your hypothesis in the comment section down below. Do you think the hourglass will actually go faster? Do you think it won't affect the hourglass at all? Or do you think shaking and tapping it might actually make the sand move slower? Let's get started. Here's a video of the first try while keeping the hourglass still. I sped up the footage so that you wouldn't have to suffer the pain of watching sand fall for an entire minute. As you can see, the hourglass performed as expected. It took just under a minute to empty the top section. After repeating the same process nine more times, I found that the average time it took for the sand to empty from the top section to the bottom was 57.7 seconds. After the 10 rounds were done, I did the same thing again, except while shaking the hourglass. First, I tapped it on a solid surface. Then. While it was on a solid surface, I tapped it on the side, then I tapped it on the top. I also shook it in midair and tapped it on the top and side while it was still elevated. Finally, it's time for the results. I was genuinely surprised by that. Shaking and tapping the hourglass had actually slowed down the speed of the sand by 10 seconds. I had expected the sand to not be affected at all when I shaked and tapped the hourglass. Here's a chart with the different times. The middle column is the time it took for the hourglass to empty while it was still, and the rightmost column is the time it took while it was shaked. As you can see, the still time is around 57.7 seconds, and the time it took when it was shaked is 1 minute and 7 seconds. Altogether, the difference is 9.8 seconds, which is around 10 seconds. So shaking the hourglass, in fact, is not benefiting you I found this to be a very interesting discovery, and I have one theory on why this happened. You know how when you're in a car, and the car suddenly accelerates, you get pushed back into your seat? I believe that force, also known as a g-force, is acting on the sand in the hourglass. When my hand moves the hourglass downward while shaking it, the sand gets moved to the top of the hourglass. This causes less sand to fall through the hole. Now, you guys may be thinking that when the sand falls back down, it will fall with a greater force, and more sand will go through the hole. However, the hole is restricting, and so only the normal amount of sand can fall through. To prove my theory, I created a slow-mo video of me shaking the hourglass. In addition, I also timed how long it took for the sand to move from the top to bottom, while only shaking it, no tapping. As you can see, shaking the hourglass without tapping it increased the time by 20 seconds compared to shaking and tapping the hourglass at the same time. That means that shaking it is the main factor in slowing down the speed of the sand. I'd like to hear what your reasoning is. Do you think it's the shaking that's causing the sand to slow down, or is there another issue? 
Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. That would help me a lot. See you later.